flying start to driving. And in this video I'm looking at roundabouts on fast flowing roads. Now we're currently doing 40 on a 40 mile an hour road and there's a roundabout coming up ahead. I'm looking to follow the direction to London City Airport, checking mirrors before I can read the detail of the sign. Now I can read it that it's to the right. So I'm checking mirrors, getting the indicator on and moving to the right. I've counted the exit, it's the one, two, three, fourth exit. So indicator on again, slowing down now for the roundabout and being able to stop if I need to stop or merge with the traffic on the roundabout, which I've done without quite needing to stop. There's the first exit, building on speed again. It's 30 miles an hour through this roundabout. Now I've got traffic behind, I've passed the first exit, I can see the second, and we've got some traffic lights, so checking mirrors and signalling to move across, so I've started to spiral out towards my exit. The exit I can now see ahead is the one before the one I want. So I'm checking traffic on my left and will aim to move to the left as soon as I can. After this blue car, I can move further to the left. There's nothing behind me in that lane. So I'm now on the left, passing the exit before the one I want. And here is the exit that I want. And now we can build up to 40 miles an hour again. And looking ahead, I've got signs for a double bend and an advisory speed limit of 20 miles an hour. And the sign that's now in view suggests that this used to be a roundabout and having been here before that's exactly what is the situation. So I don't need to stop, no traffic to give way to. I'm checking my mirrors, nothing is following me around this double bend. So I can go around it considerably more than the recommended advisory speed limit. So back up to 40 miles an hour again. Now ahead there is a real roundabout and so whatever the speed on this road, the critical point is that I must be able to slow if I need to for the roundabout. Slow sufficiently to merge with the traffic on the roundabout or even to stop. The fence to the right which is protecting us from the Docklands right light railway is making it a little bit difficult to see. There's nothing behind whatsoever. I'm off the gas, I'm braking now, I'm looking at the distance I've got available, I'm looking across the roundabout, it's good to go, and I'm in third gear and accelerating away. So I would have been able to stop then had there been traffic coming around the roundabout, and that's the critical point about driving on these faster roads. Now back up to 40 miles an hour again, looking ahead, another roundabout, traffic lights and change the speed limit down to 30. Traffic lights are just going green, you probably can't see that on screen, but they've just gone to green easing back off the gas so I'm coming down to 30 miles an hour as I approach the 30 sign. And now we're down at 30 miles an hour, I'm in fourth gear, the traffic lights are protecting me and they're just going red. So mirror checked and we come to a nice gentle stop. So the key again is be able to stop. Whatever speed you're doing as you approach the roundabout you've got to adjust it as you get closer. Make a judgement balancing the distance available to you and the vision that you've got. So, lights changing, checking all around and off we go again. Still following the direction to City Airport. It was 30 miles an hour through this roundabout. And you'll see in a moment, if you can read it on the screen, it goes up to 40. So now I can build up speed to 40. Still following signs for City Airport. So I'm off to the left here. There's one motorcycle behind me, so I'll keep an eye on that motorcycle. And he is following me, but he's some distance back. So coming up here, the speed limit at the top here changes back down to 30. I'm in left turn only lane, but the traffic entering the roundabout will know that. So I'm going to put the left indicator on, checking across until I can see if there's any traffic. There isn't. So I'm in third gear, going around to take the first exit, and I'm doing just under the speed limit. Motorbike is now gaining on me, 30 miles an hour along here. Motorbike's going to overtake, bending the speed limit slightly. So down at the end of this road, 30 mile an hour road, I'm going to be going all the way around the roundabout and back in the opposite direction. So I should approach in the right hand lane, so checking around, there's nothing immediately behind, so nothing out there, so I can just move across into the right hand lane. Now I'm closing down on the roundabout, I'll get the right indicator on, looking across the roundabout, no traffic at present, ready for a gear change, into third gear, and around the roundabout in third gear. Staying well clear of the central island, checking mirrors as I would go around, Checking for that exit and checking mirrors again and confirming that I'm moving out of the roundabout by indicating to the left. Pulling up to the speed limit 30 miles an hour and setting off back in the opposite direction. So at the end of this bridge I've got a roundabout at which I'll be turning right. Now I'm doing pretty much the speed limit but I can see behind a car is gaining on me. 
so I'm going to indicate to that car that I'm moving into the right hand lane, ready for a right turn up here. So the car that was gaining on me has now eased back a little bit, he's coming up to my left, he'll be in the roundabout with me. So mirrors, signal, check the roundabout traffic, there is one coming around, so slowing down gently, able to stop if I need to, but ideally continuing to roll and entering the roundabout. There's the car that was gaining on me earlier, it's gone off to the left, coming around the roundabout, checking mirrors, signalling left, I'm taking the next exit. Speed is under 30 but now it goes up to 40 so I can accelerate away from the roundabout and build up speed to 40. So down here we've got 40 mile an hour speed limit but ahead of me at the roundabout or just this side of the roundabout the speed limit goes down to 30 so easing back off the gas. The traffic lights at the roundabout are red so there's no point in rushing down here. Ideally I aim to arrive at the roundabout when the lights are back on green so I won't have to stop. But that's looking increasingly unlikely and oh I might be lucky so I'm now into second gear and I'm monitoring the pedestrians but they're staying where they are. There's a car behind but it seems to be sticking behind. So around the roundabout maximum speed here is 30. Around the roundabout just building up to 30 now but now the speed limit increases to 40. So when I am alongside the sign I can start accelerating having checked mirrors and I can build up speed to 40. There we are at 40. So I've got a roundabout ahead, one car behind, one in front, one in front I don't need to worry about. I'm matching its speed so it's doing the speed limit. So trying to look through this fencing to the right, the car behind is now gaining on me. I'm braking gently, ready to stop or merge into the traffic if there is any. Looking good to go from fifth to third and accelerate through the roundabout. And accelerate away from the roundabout, building up to 40 again because the speed limit's right, that was 40. 40 miles an hour again in fifth gear. And looking ahead, this is the X roundabout that we saw to begin with. So I know that I can go through this at more than the advisory speed limit. The road is dry, it's a good surface. Uh, unless I see any indications of oil spillage or anything like that, I can proceed through the roundabout quite through the X roundabout quite quickly. So I'm in fifth gear at present, I'm going to break in a straight line look across to make sure it isn't a roundabout into third gear and accelerate through at whatever speed I'm doing just around 30 miles an hour and accelerate away because the speed limit is still 40 and there we are back at 40 and back into fifth gear so the next roundabout uh, is traffic light control and the traffic lights are just going red so I'm checking mirrors and slowing down gently and what I'll do is turn the recording off at this stage because that's as much useful um, roundabout information as we can get on this piece of road. Thank you for watching, hope it's been helpful.